Okay, so uh, we're picking up right where we left off. Last time we were looking at um, retrieving information with a uh, PHP file uh, using get submits, which uh, we did up in the URL here. Um, but now let's actually create an HTML form that people can fill out and submit. So once again, we're looking at uh, retrieving two pieces of information from the user. Excuse me, the user, the username and their phone number, and we're using in this case a get form submit. So we're going to have to submit a username and phone number. Um, but remember, user and phone are what we're calling these. I'm going to save that once again. I'm using Vim as my text editor. Use whatever text editor you feel comfortable with, as long as it's a text editor, not a word processor. Um, my PHP script is called uh, uh, get.php. I'll just call my HTML file. Uh, get.html and um, to be proper we're we should have an HTML tags here and body tags okay now we're gonna create form tags so we're gonna say this is a form it's going to have an action the action is where we're going to be submitting it to, which I just said we got our get.php. Since it's in the same directory, I just need to put the same name, the name of the file. What type of submit is this going to be? The method. So uh, the method in this case is going to be get. Uh, and I capitalized that, but I think it's okay if you put it lowercase. It's just how I like to type it. Um, makes it stand out a little bit more so I can remember. Close our form tags. Okay, so we've got our form here. Now we've got our form here. And I am just going to say input and I'm going to say type equals and we'll say that this is a text input. And we also have to tell it, give it a name. So name equals and the name is what's going to be passed up in the URL like this. So we want the user. And then we're going to say input type equals, well, I'm going to put text for now, but we'll get more into different input types later on because there actually are uh, ones for numerics and dates and stuff like that uh, that uh, will limit what the user can input. I believe that's all new in HTML5, um, so it should be compatible with most uh, browsers out there. Uh, and we're going to say, once again, phone in this case. Um, and then we're going to put a um, input type. And this one is going to be our submit button. So submit, uh, if you want the button to say something, we're going to give it a value of uh, submit form. Now, we didn't put any line breaks or actual things to tell the user what to input there. So what I'm going to do, I'll show you what it looks like right now, going back to my list here. So we got our get.html, which is our little file that we just created down here. So we've got two text boxes and a submit form. We're going to change that in a little bit so that the user actually knows what to input. But I'm going to say metal x123, I'll say 555-5555. And if I click submit, it says, hello, MetalX1000, your number is 555-5555. And as you can see, it put it in the URL up there. So it knows that the first text box is the user because we gave it the name of user. And uh, the second one is the phone because we gave it the, the name of phone. Very simple, right? So let's go back. And uh, we're going to put uh, some line breaks in here. So HTML... Uh, tag br for break. If we save that, we can refresh this. And uh, we've got two things there. Let's go. I'm going to add in a label of enter your name. Label. Label. Enter your phone number close that tag and now if we look at it it says enter your name enter your number your phone number 
I guess to be consistent, I should put a colon there. Refresh by hitting F5 or your little refresh button there. And now we know if we type in um, Chris, that would be me, 555-5512. Uh, and I can either hit enter or click submit. I'll just hit enter. It submits the form. You can see it works very fast. Yeah, I'm working on a local machine here, but even when you're working on a remote website, uh, it should be pretty fast. So hello, Chris, and your number is that. Uh, so that is a basic form of a get submit. Uh, next drill, we'll start working with post, which is going to be very similar in the way you write your code, but it doesn't... Uh, garble up your URL here. I mean, this is great because I can now copy and paste this and give that URL to somebody and would give the output to it. But uh, in other cases, you may not want it up there. You may want just to say um, that and uh, nothing else. So it looks a little cleaner. So it all depends on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, definitely, if you want to be able to save the URL, uh, and even if you put it in a tiny URL link, which actually here, let me refresh this. Uh, let's submit. If I was to take this, copy it, and go to tinyurl.com, paste it in there, and take this URL here, even though it doesn't show all that stuff, it's going to pass that information to it. So I'll open up a new window here, and if anyone tries typing this, it won't work for them because I'm running this loc on my local network. But we'll hit enter here, and you can see that it forwarded it to that address with that username and password. So, you know, if you're going to create an e card and you want to input someone's name, it's a very easy way to input somebody's name and be able to share that URL. Anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, I'm not going to babble on like I did in the last tutorial here at the end, um, but I hope you're looking forward to stuff we're coming up uh, with all this stuff. Uh, this pretty much whole year is going to be on uh, web-based stuff. Uh, of course, there's other tutorials as well, Blender and Bash and other shell script stuff. But if you have any questions, please feel to vi feel free to visit my site, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. Should be a link in the description. If you have questions, just go there. Click on Social Network IRC under Help, and it'll bring you to my IRC channel where you can chat with me and other people if I'm there. I'm not always there. I do have a life. Um, but hopefully other people can help you with certain things. Um, and, uh, also you can go there to easily search through all my videos and playlists. There's a quick search bar for both of those. And I just hope that you enjoy these tutorials and I hope that you have a great day.